day is a great. Okay, so you had a great day because now it's night. So we say it was great. Okay, it was great. Well, are you ready to start? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, today we're going to talk about the ways that people have fun. So tell me, how do you have fun? For example, when you have free time and you can do something to have fun, what is the first thing that comes to mind? I have fun when I uh, when I talk to my friend. Okay, very good. So you have fun when you talk to your friends. Okay, and is there any activity that you really like to do? Something like maybe sports, maybe dancing, maybe something else, painting. Um, um, go skateboarding. Oh, that's great. Very good. Well, we're going to watch a short video together. Then we'll talk about it. Ready? Yes. Okay, just give me a moment to share my screen. Wow. Well, okay, now let's talk about this video. Okay, have you ever been to a festival? Yes. Yes, okay, what festival? Um, it, uh, mm, the Women's Day. Again, the Women's Day. Oh, Women's Day. Women's, of course. Very good. So, how was that? Did you like it? How was the festival? Did you like it? Yes, I do. Yes, I do because this is something related to past. So we say, yes, I did. Do is used for present time, but you went. So this is past. So we say, yes, I did. Okay. Tell me, and do you know what they're doing? What these children are doing? Uh, they are... Um, diving. They are kayaking. They are kayaking. 
King. Okay, so this word is called kayaking. So they are kayaking. Do you like, do you know, something like kayaking? Do you want to experience it? Yes, I do. Oh, of course. I think it's interesting, fun. Well, let's have a look at these pictures in, and let's talk about these activities, these events. Okay, the first one, festival. Okay, as you know, sometimes all around the world, okay, some festivals are held and lots of people join these festivals to have fun. So they play, they dance, they, for example, I don't know, they have fun. So festivals. Okay, and after that, folk dance. Do you know the meaning of folk dance? Mm, no. Okay. It's a special, special method of dancing, maybe, that belong to an area or a country. For example, Chinese folk dance. For example, Vietnamese folk dance, for example, Asian folk dance, or I don't know, for example, some other countries. Okay, so some people or some countries, some areas have their own special dance. So they dance in a special way, and it's folk dance. For example, they wear special costumes or clothes and they dance. This is folk dance. Okay, tell me, do you have a Vietnamese folk dance? Mm. Um, no, I don't. No, we don't. Okay, wedding. Okay, do, do you like to go to wedding? Yes. I yeah. Okay, very good. After that, family reunion. Of course, as you know, sometimes all family, family members like grandpa, grandma, auntie, uncle, mom, dad, all together. Okay, all get together, have dinner, talk. Okay, and it's called family reunion. So, family reunion means family gathering with mom, dad, grandparents, and auntie, sometimes uncles. Okay, so all family members. So, tell me, uh, do you have family gathering or family reunion? Uh, I have family reunion. Family reunion. Family reunion. Say. Family reunion. Reunion. Okay. We look at this picture and can you guess? Can you guess? What the fur is? This is fur. And do you know what it is? Can you guess? Mm, no. Okay, let me say. You know, sometimes, especially in the summer, actually, some people uh, get together in a place, okay, and you can go, you can have fun, you can see some farm animals, you can see special cuisine, special food. So, this is the definition of fur, okay? So, you can play, you can see farm animals, like, for example, ships, dogs, cows, and you know, chickens, and you can eat delicious food. It's something like a ceremony, it's something like, you know, a festival, but a bit different. Get it? Yes. Of course. Well, race. Do you know the meaning of this word? Mm. It's the 
na na lang na na lang ah uh, we we they uh, the place where they uh, run Oh, sometimes run. Of course, not only running. It means, you know, a race is a competition. You know, a competition in which people compete, for example, to run, sometimes to drive or etc. Okay, not only running. Okay, and the fastest is the winner, of course. Well, Team, tell me, do you have a soccer team at school? Mm, no, I don't. Okay, and are you a member of team, sport team at school? Basketball, volleyball, dance, for example. Uh, badminton team. Oh, so you are a member of badminton team. That's great. Okay. And tell me who the winner is. Do you know the meaning of winner? Uh, the winner is the person who, mm, who, who the, the, who win, of course. Winner is a person who win. Yeah, for example, a person who wins a game. Get it? Yeah. Okay. Well, now let's keep going with the next word that score. Score. Okay. Tell me, do you normally get high scores in exams? Do you get? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I. Yes, I do. Excellent. Okay. And the last word, player. A person who plays a game, sport, is player. Do you know any famous player? For example, football player. Do you know? Uh, Messi. Oh, yes. Oh, of course. You know, all words know Messi. Very good. Well, now let's listen to the words and check the pronunciations, okay? Okay, my dear girl, just give me a moment. Okay, I think this one. Page eight, unit one, get ready. Words, A, listen and read the words. Listen again and say the words. Festival, folk dance, wedding, Family reunion, fair, race, team, winner, score, player. Well, it's your turn. Would you read the words from the beginning? Mm, festival. 
folk dance, wedding, family reunion, fur, race, team, winner, score, player. Okay, well, now it's turn to do part B. Circle the correct answer. Would you read answer and tell me the correct answer so that I can circle it? Number one. Uh, people visit with aunts, uncles, brothers and sisters at a family reunion. Excellent. And number two. Two, the people on a basketball team are players. Very good. And three. People who win a race are called winners. Excellent. And four. Number four. People celebrate holidays with a festival. That's it. Excellent. Very good. Well, okay. And what sports do you like to play with your friends? Mm, my sports, I like it. Badminton. Okay, so the sport that you like to play is badminton. Okay, very good. And tell me, what fun things do you do at your school when you want to have fun? What do you do? Mm. The fun things I do at school is a painting. Oh, so are you a good painter? Uh, yes. Oh, great. I'm not good at painting, you know. I try, but I'm not good at painting. Do you think I can? Mm, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So I need to practice. Yeah, I need to practice so that I can learn it. Well, what do you celebrate with your family? Mm. For example, something really important and you like your cake. Mm. Your birthday. Hi. Hi. I celebrate my birthday yeah with family uh, i celebrate uh, my 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 house okay so you celebrate it means you hold a party so you celebrate your birthday you celebrate your birthday or your mom's birthday okay so you celebrate for example new year okay and you celebrate your birthday at home okay so what do you celebrate with family i celebrate and uh Christmas. Ah, do you celebrate Christmas? 
Yes. That's great. So you should be happy. Yeah, because we have less than one month to Christmas. Yes. Yeah, it's near, of course. Well, okay. Let's talk about something. And you know, some things are facts. For example, when I say a football, a soccer ball is round, this is a fact. This is true because we know it. Or when I say the sun is really hot. It's fact. It's true. We know this. So we have some different information or maybe data. The first one, fact, and the second one, something based on your opinion, something that you think. For example, I say, I think tomorrow will be rainy. I don't know. I'm not sure about this. This is something in my mind. So I think. But when I say, for example, people in the U.S. speak English, this is a fact because it's true. We know this. OK, well, so fact and something that you think. And would you tell me a fact? I think I have a high score. Oh, you got high score? This is a fact? Yes. Oh, great. Very good. And for example, your name is Anne. So this is a fact. It's real. It's true. And would you tell me something that you think about? It's not fact. Something that you only think. Oh. Um, I think. Uh, I think I. I, I am a interesting person. Oh, you think that you are an interesting person? Of course you are. I think this is a fact because you are interesting. Of course you are. Okay, thank you. Well, now let's read these sentences and check the sentences that are facts. Would you read the first one and tell me if it's fact or not? I think blue is a nicest color. Uh, it's mm, not a fact. Of course, it's not fact. And number two. Our team colors are blue and white. I think it's a fact. Of course it's fact. And? George and I are in the third grade. I think it's fact. Of course, George and I are in the third grade. Of course it's fact. And I think? I think jogging is fun it's not a fact of course and this one i think my team is great it's not a fact of course and this one the fair is on saturday it's a fact Okay, very good. And the last one? I like festival. It's a fact. I like festivals. Of course, it's a fact. Excellent. Well, now let's learn some other words. Okay. 
envelopes, championship, athletes, and bands. Well, let's have a look at this part, okay? First, let's read and listen to the tag. Then we will talk about the words. Well, ready? Yeah. Great. Page 10. Read. Having fun. It's important to have fun if you want a happy and healthy life. Here are some ways people enjoy life all over the world. Festivals. Some people think the Chinese New Year is the most important festival in China. Families clean their homes and then enjoy delicious food. Children often get money in red paper envelopes. In Korea and Japan, Children's Day is on May 5th. Children and their parents spend the day together and go to zoos and parks. Some families fly kites. In India, families enjoy Diwali, the festival of lights. Families light candles and decorate their homes with flowers. People give gifts and there is dancing and music. Sports. These men are playing an exciting game called soccer. Every four years, people watch their favorite players at the World Cup soccer championships. The team that wins the championship game is the best team in the world. Another popular game is volleyball. People play volleyball in 211 countries. You can play volleyball inside or on the beach. The first team to reach a score of 25 is the winner. Many people watch the Summer and Winter Olympic Games. Almost every country in the world sends its best athletes to race and play at these games. Some athletes swim and others run or jump to see which athletes are the best. Family Celebrations when a girl turns 15 years old in Mexico, her family and friends often celebrate with food and dancing. This also happens in many parts of Central and South America. A wedding is always a big celebration. In Egypt, dancers and musicians gather around the married couple and dance for up to one hour. Then people eat a special dinner. People celebrate family reunions all over the world. Aunts, uncles, cousins, and grandparents join the family to eat and have fun. Community events. Folk dance is popular around the world. In Turkey, folk dancers wear colorful costumes and dance at weddings and festivals. People like to watch folk dances but they also like to dance themselves. A fair is a great place for people to come together and have fun. Many fairs have farm animals, delicious food, fun games, and bands that play music. Oh, wow. Well. So, let's talk about them. First of all, let's talk about festivals. So, tell me, what do Chinese do in New Year? Mm, in, in New Year. Uh, the families clean their homes and enjoy delicious food. Very good. So, in China, the pe people have festival, okay, in New Year, and families clean their homes and enjoy delicious food, and children get money in red paper, envelopes okay do you know the meaning of envelope this one 
envelope. This one, envelope. Get it? Yeah. Okay, and what do you do in New York? For example, mm -hmm. we, we, uh, we, we have, we, we see the, the fire. Oh, so fireworks, you see fireworks. Yeah, on the sky, you mean, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so fireworks, of course. Ew. I changed the color, but I think I need to change it again. Oh, okay. Oh, I couldn't see. Why did I tap? Okay, fireworks. Okay, that's really good. And tell me, do you get money New Year? Yes, I do. Oh, good for you. So in red envelopes? Yes. Yeah, good for you. Well, tell me, what do people do in Korea and Japan? In Korea and Japan, uh, the children and their parents spend the day together and go to the zoos and parks. Yeah, very good. So, they have Children's Day on May 5th. And children and their parents spend the day together and go to zoos and parks. And some families fly kites. Okay, tell me, what do you do in Children's Day? In Children's Day, I... I... Mm. I mm, I go to the I go to the park or uh, buy some presents for me. Oh, that's great! So you go to the park with your parents, and your parents buy some gifts and presents for you. Oh, that's great! Wow. And let's check what people do in India. Okay, they have a festival named... Diwali. Okay, tell me, tell me about Diwali. What do people do? Diwali, they light candles and decorate their homes with flowers. Wow, that's great. And there is dancing and music. Wow, it should be really beautiful, I think. You know, everywhere light is lighting, using candles. I think it's really beautiful. So tell me, which festival, this one, this one or this one, which one is more interesting, you think? I think Chinese New Year is more interesting. Oh, good answer. Well, now let's talk about the sports. Okay, look. Of course, they are soccer players and they're playing game. Okay, the team that wins the championship ship game is the best team in the world. Okay, what does it mean when we say championship? Do you know? 
It's like the 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 winner. Yeah, of course. Leg. Let me show you. Leg. Uh, sometimes you know different teams from different countries. For example, from Vietnam, from the US, from China, from, for example, uh, Germany. Okay, different teams, soccer teams from different countries play together. Okay? And if one team, and finally, one team will be winner. And winner can get a word cock, this one. Can you see? And this is championship. Get it? Yes. Very good. Well, so, okay. Another game is volleyball. Okay. So tell me how many countries do, how many countries do play volleyball? Uh, they play volleyball in 221 countries. In 211, 211 countries. Okay, and tell me which team is the winner? Um, uh, the team, uh, the team who reached a score of 25 is the winner. Of course. Okay, the first team to get to reach a score of 25 is the winner. Okay, where, where can they play volleyball? They play, they can play volleyball inside or on the beach. Okay, very good. And the last word is about Olympic Games. Okay, tell me about Olympic Games. So, when do people watch Olympic Games? Mm. Many people watch us in the summer and winter. Of course, so Olympic Games are held in winter and summer. And tell me how many countries send their athletes, sport players, athletes, sportsmen or sport player? Mm. Almost every country. Of course, almost every country, so all countries around the world send their athletes to race, to competition, and play these games. Okay, and tell me, what sports, what sports do athletes play or do? Mm. At the atlas, uh, play, swim, and others run or jump. So they swim, run, or jump. Swimming, running, and jumping. Okay, very good. Well, so we learn some words and we learn some facts about different countries. So they are facts. Do you agree? Yes. Of course, next session we will discuss and we will keep going with this part. Okay, my dear, do you have any questions about this part? No, I don't. Okay, so my dear, time is over. We need to go. Okay, have a really great time and see you next session. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye.